Okay, so I just got to give you my feedback on Lady Charisse Gilbert. This is quite interesting because I saw this with uh, Auntie Louise Patterson. So this is not something that's foreign, but you guys, I'm going I'm, I'm to talk to y'all first ladies for a little minute. <laughs> So I was listening to the story and all the details that I'm finding out from the Detroit news. It's kind of ironic because I'm listening to this and I'm like, okay, well, first of all, this is this man's wife. Why are you guys trying to take it all from her and give her the boot? Like she has labored with this man, has children by this man, has built this church and now you guys are trying to take it all, including our home. This is kind of ridiculous to me, but it's not foreign. I'm I'm just very sad because it's like, I understand where she's coming from. She had a not, well, actually the man had, it was like two, three million dollar policy. Um, she was getting out of the deal. I believe it was $950,000, which, you know, is it's a nice settlement. Um, and if I'm right, I got to go back and review, um, exactly what were the details of the policy. I got to do my little research on that, but that's her home. But the insurance policy is saying, which is, I think it was American general. They're saying that the court needs to tell them who to give the money to. Hold on. Now. I, you know, my dad is, you know, he has me on his uh, will and everything and, and my, my stepsister. So if anything happens to my dad, you know, God forbid, but it goes to me and my stepsister. So it's like, I mean, we're going to be nice. You know, we're going to be left nice and, you know, I got to do a little bit more. I don't have to do too much, you know, of anything. But um, if anything happens to my stepfather, you know, everything goes to us. You know, we split that mug down the middle. So it's like, why does the judge have to tell you who to give the money to? That's not right. This sounds a little fishy to me. It sounds a little fishy. It sounds very fishy because it sounds like somebody's working on the inside trying to make sure that whoever these church leaders are, that they get money. And you guys are absolutely positively wrong for trying to kick this woman out of her church. This is her and her husband's church. Why are you trying to kick her out? And I mean, just to even watch this video, you know, they're telling her that she can't give words to the congregation and stuff like this. This sounds like another incident with Auntie Louise Patterson. Oh my God. Hey y'all, let me tell y'all first lady something. Y'all better make sure, I mean, make doggone sure that y'all husbands, y'all husbands, leave specific instructions where you can see the instructions and they can see the instructions because if y'all have built this ministry together y'all have labored together i mean y'all have been through all the stuff i'm talking about where you got women and men trying to get with your man or whether they try to get with your woman or whoever you know you have been there through it all so when this man or this woman decides to leave this earth and close their eyeballs, you need to be like, baby, I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. What they did for Eddie Long, baby, Vanessa Long wasn't worried about nothing. She didn't have to scuffle and fight for anything because why? Eddie Long left her and them children right. Everything was in black and white. It was in black and white. So first ladies, I and 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 Men and women alike, whoever's left, whoever dies first, it don't matter. Let me tell y'all something. Make sure, make sure that everything is in black and white because when you die, these people get very sneaky, very sneaky and treacherous, treacherous, excuse me, very treacherous because they don't care nothing about your husband dead. Oh, he died. Oh, he was a good pastor. Praise the Lord. Now on to this money. Them Negroes ain't stunning you when that man died because if there ain't no policy, if there ain't no will left in place, y'all are going to get the boot. You're going to get kicked in your arse. You hear me? You and your children and your family. And you can fight all day long, 
But until this stuff, if, if the if, first of all, there's no will, no probate or anything like that, you guys are going to be fighting and the court is going to be left to decide who gets what and that is not a good feeling. I watched this stuff with Auntie Louise and let me tell y'all something, and I call Auntie Lou because I love that woman. I love me some G.E. Patterson. Let me tell you something. That man, you know, he had to deal with some mess too, but let me tell you, he was an OG, triple OG. Wasn't playing that mess and wasn't taking no mess. I loved him because he was real. You hear what I'm trying to tell you? And I love Auntie Lou because let me tell you something. She was an OG. She wouldn't care. She'd tell you just how it is. And the men that were sitting behind, if you didn't like it, baby, she'd turn around to your face and tell you and shake their little head like this and say what she needed to say. That's why she will forever be respected in this church as the first lady. And I would hate for God to take her anytime soon because she is and forever always be my first lady. I love me some Louise Patterson. No slight to Lady Mae Blake. We love her too. God bless you. But she is not Louise. You know what I'm saying? She ain't Louise. Anyways, y'all, if y'all know this lady, y'all rally around her and show her as much support as possible because in times like this, you know, she needs all the love as possible and all the support that she can possibly get because they're ultimately they're ultimately trying to take what is rightfully hers and i don't care what anybody else say if you have worked hard with somebody it's rightfully hers you know when when eddie long died his wife pretty much she was right there with bishop long before he died when he named uh bishop stevens uh, well, Pastor Stevens, the successor that was going to be at the church. So, you know, she stood right there and said, this is going to be the next pastor of this ministry. And she going to still be right there. Ain't nobody worried about that. She is uh, not emeritus, but she is still the first lady. But there is another first lady in place. You know, she's still going to get a check. She's still going to be in, in, in place because that's her husband's church. She gets, she has, she is the one who's going to be given say so. And that's the way that Charisse, I think it's Charisse Gilbert needs to be. You know, that's her husband's church and she has a right to have a say so because that's her husband's church. Y'all give me some feedback on this video. Tell me what y'all think. You know, I think that a lot of first ladies, y'all, y'all need to make sure y'all get y'all respect. Y'all laboring the gospel with y'all husbands and stuff like that. And some of y'all men too. You know, when your wives die and they the pastor and stuff like that. And they, you know, folks try to take stuff from me and everything. Y'all, listen. If y'all spice, if y'all spouse croak, y'all better make sure everything is in place. Should nobody be able to take from you what is rightfully yours. I love y'all. I really do. I'm getting ready to get out of here. Um... I got some more stuff I got to do. I just put this story out there. So make sure y'all go to the website. Go to www.demagio.com and you get the rest of the story. I got to add some more to it because it's getting juicy. Um, I love you guys and um, I look forward to talking to you soon.